Hey everybody, welcome back to Zen and Yard of Triathlon. And base camp was awesome, and we're gonna have registration up for that really soon, so you can go ahead and get signed up for next year. But more on that later. I have started finalizing my training for the Rocky Raccoon 100. There goes the treadmill. It's a 100 mile trail race on February 5th. Um, not so much a race, <laughs> it's a survival. So it's 100 miles off road. Uh, in the pine forest, rolling hills, stuff like that. So we're gonna do a bunch of little videos on how to train for something like that. And let's just start today with a trick on the treadmill. So uh, it's rolling terrain. So what I did is, let's go over here. On the old treadmill, let's look at some buttons. We'll talk about fuel here in a second. I got some stuff and some gear here to talk about. Uh, I just finished running two and a half hours and what I did was I did a nice little warm up, really slow, getting kind of used to it. And then uh, I started mixing in inclines. So off-road running usually has lots of little ups and downs, ups and downs, some of it pretty steep. steep. So then after a while, I got in the habit of every five minutes hitting 10% grade, which is really steep, and then... Uh, slowing the speed down to a really fast walk. Now, when you when you trail run, it's when you're going really really far. It's uh, very smart to walk the uphills. <laughs> you will need it in the end. And let me tell you about this. Uh, let's go back and look at this. You know, uh, after two after two hours of running, two hours, it started to hurt, man. And I was. Uh, you know, I run a lot, so you would think running pretty slow, you could just run forever. Well, you've got to run really slow for it for you to be able to go forever. So what I ended up doing was averaging a 10-minute mile. Uh, I just calculated it on the computer. I went over here, and my treadmill doesn't say the pace. So I went to a website. I just Googled convert um, mile per hour, convert MPH to pace running and I hit this website and I typed in let's see if we can see that where to go two see that up there two and a half hours and it said 10 minute mile right on the dot oh and I went 15 miles there's 15 miles I know it's fuzzy so there's Roxy she wants to go run <laughs> it's really cold outside so the uh, so while I'm running when I was walking the uphills I was uh, fueling, so Laura bars are real good because it's a mix of fruit and nuts. I also ate some almonds. Um, they're not here, they're in the kitchen. I went for a pee break real quick and grabbed some almonds and uh, for uh, fat and calories, uh, but not too many. And then I drank a coconut juice for the potassium and oh, magnesium and stuff. And the almonds were salted, so I got some salt in with that. And then I've been through one and a half of these. so. Uh, <clears throat> the funny thing is, I've got I've got a lot more to share with you about how to how to train for long distance running. I've done the 50 miler twice, and it is hard. So now we're doubling the distance, and the 50 miler I barely the fastest I've ever done is uh, like a 12 and a half minute mile average, and that's not bad for 50 miles. <laughs> you would think that's terrible, but start looking at at those distances and the average times. It's actually not that bad, and then the um, but I want to try to come in under the 24 hour mark on the 100 and the cutoff for that is a 14 and a half minute mile. No, 1424. And that sounds ridiculously slow and it feels ridiculously slow until you get a few hours into it and then you're glad for every extra minute that it takes to cover every mile. So um, the trick is to start off from the beginning going really slow so you have lots of energy towards the end. But we've got plenty of time to talk about that, lots more videos. And that's it, all right? I gotta go run and meet another ultra runner for lunch, and we're gonna talk about gear. And was there any other gear? Oh, I was, uh, here's some headphones, waterproof headphones from H2O Audio. And uh, there is a computer up here where I can watch TV, but I decided to zone out on Pandora and uh, listen to stuff. So yeah, uh, one minute out of every five, 10% grade, slow it down so it's a fast walk. Oh, that's the other thing is, that's the other thing I forgot. Um, you're going to end up walking in these things, 
And if you're not, if you don't practice walking, it's a completely, it uses the same set of muscles kind of, and a, a few different muscles, but in a completely different way. And if you're not used to it, you, it will hurt. So you have to practice uh, walking fast uh, and then fueling while you're walking to get it all down so that you're more efficient. Um, your feet, the first year I did it, I ended up having to walk a bunch and my, your feet strike the ground and push off differently to walk fast. And I ended up with blisters this big. I can't even make my, curl my fingers on. They weren't this big. They were this big um, under the balls of each foot, one under each foot. And I had to walk on my heels for probably 10 miles <laughs> off road. And that sucked. So this stuff is serious, man, but it's a ton of fun. If you do it right, then you can have a blast out there and you won't hurt much. All right, let's go.